I feel like the exercise really is, is, has gone um, as well, if not better, than anything I was expecting. Uh, I had high expectations going in, but to see the extent to which uh, our Georgian partners, our other ally and partner countries that were part of this, have integrated, even down to the squad level, in conducting tactical operations to conducting division and brigade level planning has been uh, a sight to behold. Uh, I've seen uh, the communication, uh, even though sometimes we don't always speak the same language in the sense of uh, our dialect, but we are speaking the same language in terms of uh, our military professionalism uh, and that commitment to, to working together and that interoperability, which is all about preserving peace uh, and stability in this region and, and demonstrating our capacity uh, to do our jobs as called upon. It was a breach and a clearing uh, exercise that involved multiple national partners, ally countries, the West Virginia National Guard, some involvement from uh, our SBAP as well as uh, active duty uh, medevac. Seeing all of them work together with the partner countries, with Georgia, to pull that off was something else. Every one of the, the training areas and kind of the, the, the objectives were met from my perspective, if, like I said earlier, if not even exceeded, right? So I think what, what was really neat was, you know, we had approximately 20 countries involved in this. We had some first-time participants. So maybe seeing that expand in the future uh, in terms of the number of countries that can participate, I think could add that much more uh, value to, to, you know, creating that interoperability, right? Demonstrating uh, our readiness uh, and our commitment to deter aggression and to peace and security in the region.